Fans of horror games have benefited more than most from the meteoric rise of online gaming, with many of the genre's most famous titles and franchises having started life as free-to-play indie games. With Flash games no longer a thing, Steam is now one of the very best places for those indie game developers to showcase their work, thanks in large to the sheer size of the platform. Fans of horror games are particularly spoiled for choice in this regard, as there's an ever-growing number of fantastic free-to-play horror games on Steam. Here are some of the very best ones. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe or channel and hit that bell icon, so you never miss an update on your favorite channel, Dr. Plague, Horror Gaming. Let's get into the video. Number 1, After Hours. I'm happy my sister survived the accident. I'm looking forward to seeing her. It may be a little rough around the edges in places, but what After Hours lacks in polish, it more than makes up for with atmospheric excellence. The game can be unnervingly spooky at times, thanks in large to the thought and meticulous attention to detail that went into designing its setting and its excellent use of sound. Like many other free-to-play horror games before it, After Hours takes place in an abandoned hospital. Players must explore and escape the derelict facility, while simultaneously being stalked by the mysterious creature that resides there. Stealth and silence will be key for those hoping to survive, though, even then, nothing is guaranteed. Number 2, Alpha Polaris. The point-and-click adventure genre has seen something of a resurgence in recent years, though it could perhaps be argued that it never really went away in the first place. Released just in time for Halloween of 2015, Alpha Polaris, a horror adventure game is a solid example of a post-2000 point-and-click adventure and boasts an excellent story, thought-provoking puzzles, and an art style that perfectly suits the genre. Those who are accustomed to cheap thrills and jump scares will likely come away disappointed, as this is a game that seeks to shock its players through immersion, atmosphere, and suspense. It burns pretty slowly in that respect but does so with a surprisingly bright flame considering the limited resources available to the Finnish studio that developed it. Anyone who enjoys Lovecraftian horror will find a lot to like here, though players with an aversion to polar bears might want to sit this one out. Number 3, Cry of Fear. One of the most popular horror games of all time, thanks to its unique combination of Silent Hill and Half-Life, Cry of Fear is objectively one of the better free-to-play games around. The game boasts a AAA-adjacent experience, with an 8-hour campaign and multiple ending scenarios, on top of a co-op experience and diverse modding community that satisfies anyone left wanting more. Cry of Fear takes the premise of Silent Hill's Otherworld and puts it into a first-person survival shooter. While the addition of heavy weaponry feels like it might dampen the horror experience, the game still manages to do a fantastic job of making the player feel helpless, with limited resources and unsuspecting scares hiding around every corner. Number 4, Deceit. Some of the more recent changes made to Deceit have arguably cheapened the overall experience, but that's not to say that there isn't still a lot of fun to be had with this asymmetrical multiplayer game. Developer Baseline has done a great job balancing the gameplay, ensuring that controlling one of the infected is just as fun as playing as a survivor and vice versa. The mysterious setting in which the game takes place gives off an incredibly sinister vibe, while the blackout periods punctuating each zone's end crank up the tension. Everything tends to happen incredibly quickly too, forcing players to think on their feet, particularly when faced with an infection in their terror form. Number 5, Dissonance. The atmosphere alone can go a long way toward creating a great horror game, as evidenced by Dissonance from Resonance Studio. To be clear, that's not at all to say that atmosphere is the only thing that the game has going for it, but the abandoned research facility in which the game takes place is one of its strongest assets. The way that different gadgets need to be used when faced with different creatures forces players to think their actions through, though the short windows they're given make the experience a lot more exhilarating. It is a fairly simple game, both mechanically and visually, but one which effectively draws its players into its SCP-inspired world. Number 6, No More Room in Hell. Released on Halloween back in 2011, No More Room in Hell still holds up fairly well today and continues to receive semi-regular updates. At first glance, it might seem like just another zombie survival game, but it's full of character and, thanks to its 8-player co-op, is a lot of fun to play as well. Some may find the art style to be just a little too generic to be truly scary, but the feeling one gets when they find themselves surrounded while short on ammo is universally terrifying regardless. 
with a sequel currently in the works, now is a great time to check out what No More Room in Hell has to offer, if only to prepare oneself for what's soon to come. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe our channel, Dr. Plague, Horror Gaming, to watch more videos like this.